Welcome back to the Express at DCT Canine Services in Langley. Now, I'm quite sure that these pups don't give a bark about one of the hottest topics right now, but our next two gals do. See how two royal wedding fanatics are throwing a party all their own. Carrots Wedding Bells is brought to you by Carrots, online at carrots.com. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. I am a royalist through and through. And Aubrey? I prefer Harry. Loves Prince Harry. So we decided to throw a royal wedding party. We have our fascinators on ready for the party. This one was designed specially for Sarah. This one was designed especially for her dog. But I think it's nice on Aubrey too. It's right hand, isn't it? Is it left? Does it matter? Do you know? Clearly we need some help. Introducing King Todd, mixologist at the Fairmont Pacific Rim. We need a king. King Todd, the first. The first. The Fairmont has created a customized Pimm's cocktail just for the wedding. Pimm's is a brand. Pimm's is a liqueur. Okay. Very, very popular in the UK. Very, very popular in Sarah's tummy. In our other world wedding, we are barrel aging our own Pimm's cocktail. Now, is Pimm's the kind of thing you do as a shot? No, Aubrey. It's a simple drink, some lemon juice, a little bit of ginger ale, some Sprite with a cucumber garnish. Barrel aging cocktail, it recombines the flavors and adds the subtleness of the wood. All hail King Todd the First. And Pims. Next up, we had Fairmont High Tea and Elsa Corsi Jewels. Woo, what a party! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, I mean, wow, what a party. This is lovely. So, you know, if you've had your grandmother's jewelry for the last 50 years that she's passed on, we're hoping that our brides are going to do the same and add to their family jewels by using the Elsa Corsi Jewels on their special day. Sarah couldn't hold it in anymore. Which one did you I claim? I want to wear that one. Can I please put it on my head? I think it would look beautiful on you. Now, what's the rumor on Kate? Well, I heard today that she is refusing to wear a tiara, and this has Prince Charles and Camilla up in arms. Uh-oh, Sarah. Maybe you'll have to step in. No party with Aubrey is complete without some games. Okay, so Sarah claims to be a royal expert, and I claim to be a Prince Harry expert. So here we go. <laughs> He was once described as being a younger version of Jack Nicholson. Oh, I'm sorry, you're both wrong. We were looking for Christian Slater. <laughs> Their monogram is synonymous with the bathroom. Oh, yes! Point, Aubrey. No, you're too Our royal princess was unraveling, so we tried to lighten the mood. God save our gracious queen. Go! Long live our no. Full queen. Go. Next, we talked to Candace Oliver, all the way from the Fairmont Savoy in London, to find out how the Londoners really feel about the royal wedding. They're in love. You know, you can tell. Everybody can see that these two young people are, are actually quite in love, and everyone's really looking forward to their wedding. And we are too. Princess for a day was so much fun. We just got to work on that royal wave. For Shaw TV, we are the wedding bells. God save the queen. Yeah! Carrots Wedding Bells has been brought to you by Carrots, online at carrots.com. The Royal Wedding is expected to draw 2 billion viewers. And across the pond here in BC, local businesses are getting in on the festivities. At Mary's Brit Shop in Steveston, Mary herself is stocking the shelves with everything and anything royal. For those of us who didn't get an invite to the Royal Wedding, Mary's British home may be the next best thing to jolly old England. And there's plenty of ceremonial souvenirs. People have been looking for the, the mementos of, of the Royal Wedding. People like Wendy Webb, who's throwing a viewing party for friends. We're doing everything royal, having scones and strawberry jam and tea. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm looking for a few things that I can sort of give out as little wedding souvenirs. Wendy's decided on magnets, but if you're looking for something more traditional... This is a heart mug. A heart mug, and it's yeah. got, I've got William, you've got Kate, and they actually separate to become two mugs. Yeah. What is it that Brits love so much about these kind of novelty items? Uh, it's to commemorate the, the royal wedding. Excited for the royal wedding? Yes, I'm I really looking forward to watching it. I like the pageantry of the 
what the British can do. Are you going to be watching the Royal Wedding? Yes, I am, yeah. Are you getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning? I am. Andrew Melville says he's getting a little homesick watching the wedding preparations on TV. I can't imagine how crazy it'll be right now in England. By the way, Mary, who's from Birmingham, England, is also a football fan. Yeah, she's making it like a granny. My team is, at, dare I say it on television, uh, Aston Villa, which I was born in Aston. Mary's store gives British expats a little taste of home, mainly football and food. What do the Brits miss the most when they come to Canada? Uh, I think Heinz beans. Really? Heinz <laughs> beans? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Yeah. What else? The jams, the biscuits, Marks and Spencer. What makes the world so interested in this one couple's wedding? Um, well, I think probably because they're young, mm -hmm. they're good looking, mm -hmm. makes life interesting. I'm not even going to bed. I'm going to stay up. And Mary isn't alone. Most people we talk to are willing to sacrifice their precious sleep for the pomp and pageantry. My husband thinks we're nuts, but... <laughs> <laughs> One o'clock in the morning, but I'll still watch it. I'm just going to probably stay up through, through the night and then watch it with some friends, so nice. it's got to be done. Well, the wedding of Kate and William is just upon us, and I think there's only one thing left to say. The best of British luck to William and Kate. Cheers. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Steveston for The Express. Mary doesn't just stock the shelves for royal weddings. She also sells haggis for Robbie Burns Day, mincemeat tarts for Christmas, and scotch eggs, which, by the way, are deep-fried, hard-boiled eggs for New Year's. Delicious. You're watching The Express, and we have more BC specialties coming up. Michelle, in your experience, what would you say the number one mistake people make with their dogs is when training? After the break... Give your heel commands. DCT canine blows the whistle on training mistakes. Slow doesn't mean you have to not talk to them. It's just a profusion of color and blooms everywhere. Road trip takes a spring look at Minter Garden. Garden. This is the Arbor Walk. The Express. Um, this, this is, is your so local nice. voice. Completely enveloped in vegetation and flowers. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV, provided by The Lounge Hair Studio, loungehairstudio.com. Today's generation of young people spend the least amount of time outside of any generation in human history. We need to have children out, we need to have people out in order to see the world around that allows us to live. I think something like the Sea to Sky Trail is the epitome of what we need to get people back out into the real world, to see nature as it can be, and something that we are a part of and that we must fight to protect. Welcome back to The Express at DCT Canine Services in Langley. Okay, Michelle, in your experience, what would you say the number one mistake people make with their dogs is when training? Teaching their dogs how not to come, literally, and come being such an important um, skill for dogs to learn. Really easy to teach dogs to come if you use consistency and follow through. Which is a great advice for most things in life. And I, Janet, you've got a one trick that you're using with Penny, and what is that? I just blow the whistle and she comes, and I, I guess it's hard fired in her because she can be anywhere, and if I blow, she'll like. All right, so blow the whistle. Let's see. And there she is. It works, okay? It works all the time. If I don't see her on the count of three, I blow it again, and she's always been there. Yes, okay. And Michelle, what would you say? Why does it work, then? Why is the reason this trick works well? It's a trigger and a key for Penny, and it's something that Janet has been able to find that works effectively for Penny, reliably, 100% of the time, and because she's consistent with it and keeps her practice at it. So it could be a whistle or it could be another cue that you work with as long as you're consistent. Absolutely. Clapping your hands, saying a treat word, saying cookie. Um, a trigger that you find for your dog that, that is um, a magnet for them to come to you when you call them. I wonder what I should use for my cameraman. <laughs> cookie? I think cookie will work. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd get kicked out if I use it. <laughs> DCT Canine Services offers free dog training on Saturdays, a chance to see if your dog and Michelle get along, but you do need to reserve a spot. And along with the private and group classes, she also offers boarding and daycare.
Now, we're going off the leash with our next story on the Express. Road Trip is touring a world-class show garden near Harrison. Travel along with us on the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip as we explore the many marvelous attractions and activities of beautiful British Columbia. Today, we're going to take a road trip to Minter Gardens. The 32-acre show garden is world-renowned and will captivate both gardeners and non-gardeners alike. Minter Gardens is located 90 minutes east of downtown Vancouver on the east side of Chilliwack. From the freeway, we pass the inviting fountain and pull up to the garden grounds. I'm here with Jennifer McLennan, who's the operations manager at Minter Gardens, and today she's going to take us on a springtime tour through the gardens. We all good to go? Let's go. All right. Our tour starts off with one of the 12 gardens that make up Minter Gardens. The Partier Garden, shaped like a pineapple top, is meant to be an international sign of welcome. Next, we pass something that looks more like it belongs in a children's theme park. So this is our famous peacock that was first displayed at the Pacific National Exhibition. The 12 foot high character now proudly displays spring tulips, but will change up with the seasons. Turning the corner, we find ourselves in an optical illusion. Eight feet narrower at the end than at the beginning, the formal garden is designed to appear one and a half times longer than it actually is. We then continue on along the path of our exploratory tour. So this is one of my favorite areas of the garden. This is the Arbor Walk. Um, through the summer season, this is completely enveloped in vegetation and flowers and lined with beautiful flowers. So I just find it a really romantic, nice walk. <laughs> Exiting the Arbor Garden leads you straight into a wall, a water wall. Designed in 2005, the thundering curtain of water commands attention and captivates the mind. When they walk through, I always recommend that people stop every now and then and do a 360 and look around and see because you get a whole new perspective. It's just a profusion of color and blooms everywhere. Just up the hill from the wondrous water wall sits a poignant white chapel, popular with the lovebirds. Everything held in one specific spot, so they can come in and they can do all their photos, they can have their ceremony, their reception, and while they're getting photos, guests can mingle and wander around the gardens. It's kind of a nice place, no one has to drive. But if you're not planning on getting married anytime soon, there are other occasions and events that just might lure you to the garden grounds. We do reunions, um, lots of people come in with birthday parties. Uh, we even get a lot of Christmas um, parties that come in in the winter times. Um, we have anniversary parties, graduation events. And after all the energy of events on the Minter Garden grounds, it's always nice to come back to the reflective and soothing sounds of water. So this is our water wheel. This is a nice quiet area of solitude. But over here is my favorite view in all of the gardens. It's just amazing. Wow, what a great view. Minter Gardens is Brian and Faye's dream. It's their passion. Um, they built it from the ground up and they put their heart and soul into it. It's a beautiful place. For this week's Quality Assured Collision Road Trip, I'm Tiffany Gurdon. Entertaining and informative, the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Weekends on Shaw TV. Always something new and exciting. All kinds of great places to road trip to around BC and festivals to hit. And that's where we're shining today's Express Spotlight. Bring the family to watch 16 teams compete in the Kyber Cup Soccer Tournament. There'll be plenty of entertainment, prizes, food and refreshments with donations going towards a Japan Relief Fund. Doxa explodes in 2011 with an exceptional lineup of films. As the means of capturing reality continue to develop, Doxa presents the most innovative and exciting forms of documentary film. Featuring 55 breweries, 70 venues, and nine days of beer, Vancouver Craft Beer Week consists of a series of signature festival events and showcases the best beer BC has to offer. And we'll be taping on location at Hoppapalooza, so cheers us if you see us there. Now that's it for today's Express from DCT K9 Services in Langley. We're going to leave you with a preview of Fiddler on the Roof running at the Centre in Vancouver this weekend, and we'll see you next time. Tradition, 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 tradition.
tradition. Tradition, why? Without our traditions, our lives would be as shaky as... Uh, as a fiddler on the roof. If I were a rich man, yeah, be the brother, be a be a be the boom. All day long, I biddy biddy boom. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Yeah, be the brother, be a be a be the boom. Lord, who made the lion and the lamb? 